Hey, what's up everybody? It's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming and we're back with some more LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2. That's right, we've got level 2 Avengers World Tour free play. No trophy achievements found in this video, however, we got lots of collectible -age. In fact, all 10 mini kits, we're gonna freely, freely, freely. And we're also gonna get that character token we missed in our story attempt. Now, on top of all that, we're also gonna grab an extra pink brick. That's right, the 4X pink brick that we purchased in our preparing for free play video actually yielded us enough studs in uh, level one that we were actually able to go ahead and purchase this next pink brick. So we're gonna actually purchase the old 2X now for 800K and we're gonna turn them both on, and it'll give us 8x. That's right, so, uh, O to the, yeah, we might, gotta make sure we turn that bad boy on. Er, just gotta hit the brakes, too. You see, I went too fast in the menu icons there. Anyhow, got it on, and we officially have that times eight rolling. So let's go ahead and check out our map. Head on to Avengers World Tour. Of course, we wanna select free play, and let's go ahead and get to getting. Now, I want to go ahead and point out we do have quick links down below in the video description. This video is rather lengthy. The level itself is quite long. And as a result, even with it sped up, it's about 30 minutes long. So, hey, if you guys are in a hurry to find those collectibles, maybe you only need the Stan Lee location or who knows what it is you're after. But we could go ahead and help you out quickly going through those by quicking, quicking those click links. <laughs> I said that backwards. It's all good, though. You know what I meant. So we'll go ahead and start things off. We got Star Lord, pew pew pew, and, and realistically, we don't have to do a whole lot down here. Now, some of these free play levels do require some some story based elements to be completed in order for us to advance. However, this is not one of them. Now, basically, this is a quick way or an easy way to get all the rest of your characters up top. But we're gonna go ahead and just use our jetpack. Once we get up top, we're gonna drop right on by Frosty. And once we drop Frosty, we actually get this cinematic moment where it kind of spins around and shows us all sorts of stuff. That satellite spun around and broke, and now it's on fire. We'll put that out in a hot second, quite literally. But first, we're going to drop down onto this lower ledge towards the front side of your screen, and you can see Stan is frozen right there. We'll go ahead and bust up this box right in front of him, which gives us a couple bouncing bricks. We could build into a gravity booster. Toss one of them booster elements on there and watch everything get sucked up into a pile. And speaking of pile, we got some leftover bricks. This one was kind of weird. I, I get it, I guess. But at the same time, a volcano? We're building up a little mini volcano? Anyhow, we freely, freely, freely. And look at that. We're going to go ahead and get a quick Excelsior. There we go. Oh, yeah. And all right, moving right along. Next up, we're going to head over to the right-hand side and destroy a bunch of stuff. Really, what we're after is these guns, these turrets. Now, uh, we could probably surpass them and uh, go ahead and make your way up top to where we're going, which is the mini kit. But uh, I felt these were a little pain in the tuckus, so we'll go ahead and remove them by pewing them down. All right, right, we've got one down. And I, I love, too, how if you're shooting and you're being shot at, the character automatically does like these diving rolls and, and avoids fire for you instead of just sitting there and taking it like a like a dummy. But all right, once you get both those cannons removed, go ahead and fly up top and try to do a better job than I did of actually landing on the ledge. You'll find a whole bunch of studage, including a couple of bluesies and a purple twosy. And look at that up in the upper right corner, kind of hiding behind that weird. I don't know what that is. It kind of looks like a spine or a backbone or something. But uh, there's a mini kit up in there. And as soon as we grab that, we're actually going to fly up to the high right side of the right building. And check this out. On the rooftop, we noticed this in our story playthrough, that there was some blue bricks in need of some repair. So we'll switch on over to Iron Man and go ahead and follow the sequence, the mini game here. And we'll go ahead and get that all back up and running. It looks like some sort of a, a battery meter or something. I don't know. But the charge is good, and we've got a mini kit as a result. So we'll go ahead and grab that. Thank you very much. And all right, two down already, and we've already freed Lee. Now, hey, another little tip for you. If you don't have both the 2 and the 4X stud multiplier, you're not going to be adding up studs as fast as us. So make sure you sneak around that back corner there and grab that blue and that purple as you might need it in order to get that stud requirement. Now, you might have noticed, too, that we just had a thumby helpful tip pop up on screen letting us know that it's going to be a minute or two before our next collectible. In fact, it's going to be quite a while before we get this door open. Essentially, what we need to do is we have two mini puzzles on either side of the big door. 
door. We have to solve those, which we're working on one right now, and then we have to go ahead and open the door. Once we have that big giant door open inside, there's actually a mini kit waiting for us. So we'll go ahead and encourage you to use that quick link down below for mini kit number three if you have not already figured out how to beat this. If you know what you're doing, go ahead and use that quick link. Meanwhile, we're going to go ahead and take out everything on the right side inside this building. Now, we had to use Thor's electricity up on the upper ledge up there to go ahead and open the door down here. Once inside, we smashed everything, hopped on the old Captain America shield switch, and uh, we actually threw our shield around and, uh, well... It opened uh, the right-hand side of what we're looking for here. So, essentially, we have to go to the left-hand side now. Remember that fire up on the roof? Well, we got to go ahead and put that out. Luckily for us, we got Captain America out. We can go ahead and use his shield to stomp those bad boys out. And how's everybody doing, by the way? While we're, we're, we're putting this fire out, doing our duty, uh, how's everybody doing? Everybody enjoying this game? Everybody happy that we're with the free play now and that we actually have some collectibles popping up? I know I am. I, I can guarantee you that. Hey, there's a couple of characters that I'm still unfamiliar with. M11 is one that I don't have a lot of information on. And Lockjaw, too. I know Lockjaw is kind of a fan favorite with a lot of you guys, but I don't really know much about the big old mutt. But uh, he certainly has some pretty cool effects, although I do not like fighting with him. He's kind of a tough mutt to fight with. <laughs> I guess I used that word twice. Anyhow, go inside the building once you put out the fire, and I guess you had to charge up that wall up top again, didn't we? Didn't we have to do that? Anyway, we got inside the door, and we used the shield switch. Hopefully you used that quick link, and you're not uh, listening to my weak banter here. Anyway, we got the left side open, bleh, peeked out some bricks for us. We'll go ahead and run by the other Frosty. I thought we already took him out. Anyhow, we got some bouncing bricks. We'll build them up into a spin switch. Then we'll go ahead and spin to win. That's right. We got to go to the green side. Luckily for us, it's going to flip it around. Look at that. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll, go, we'll go ahead and push it. Push it along. Yeah, push it. That's right. All right. Once this gets all the way pushed open, we'll see some bad guys. We'll go ahead and proceed to remove them. And then on the right-hand side, you can see there is that double stack of crates on that checkerboard path. We actually need to push that towards the screen. So... Uh, away from the back wall there and once we get it all the way there a little box pukes out and we'll go ahead and jump on that with a butt slam and reveal the next mini kit well, we're not there yet though we figure we go ahead and do these story based elements and uh, get all these smashings uh, done look at this hey if you have not already check us out on social media that was a cue for twitter but we also have patreon we also have facebook we also have well you're probably on youtube we're working on some other stuff too i know some of you guys have asked for some discord i still am trying to figure out like how that would benefit anybody but uh other than just you know killing some time but if I find a, a good, meaningful reason to, to start there, we certainly will. If you guys have any suggestions or requests other than those, uh, let us know. And here we go. We're actually pushing that along the checkerboard path. And look, at just as promised, there's that box came dropping down. We'll go ahead and smash it. And look at that. Oh, yeah. Three mini kits officially in the bag. Next up, because we have already done everything else needed here, we're going to go ahead and hop on the shield switch and use Captain America to, well, we got to aim at the boingers and get this super sweet look at this it's a pretty uh squirrely shot here but we made it it's around that glass wall there in and out and oh here it comes back oh that's right coming fast it's like a hot potato all right once that happens the door opens and bad things happen unfortunately this green goo gets all over our hero and it turns out he turns him against us so uh as i already mentioned this level is quite long in fact there are if, if you ask me there are actually three levels squished together into one level here like i really do feel like you know and i get it it's the avengers world tour i get it but uh it's certainly <laughs> we're, we're all over the place we have all these different heroes taking on all these different tasks and like i said i feel like it definitely could have been broken down into smaller levels but at the same time it's not that bad it's only half an hour long so all right we uh have officially taken the tranced captain down that's right he was uh against us and no longer is he being mind controlled or goo controlled ew it's the goo and look at this we got we got the presence we got to go ahead and take out all these guys he's got mind control on now and once those guys are dealt with we should be able to go ahead and take him out that force field up top is locked but it's only because he's got these little guys uh keeping it alive for him once we get them all done though we should have access to take him down now this is what i'm talking about this just takes forever now i honestly like it 
it really crossed my mind to go ahead and edit some of these boss sequences out just because we've already covered them in our story and it just takes so long. But at the same time, that's why we provide those quick links too. So if you are in a hurry and you don't want to watch this, and rather than just kind of scan through to find maybe what's next, we got those quick links down below in the video description. It actually happens to be mini kit number four, which is right around the 11 and a half minute mark of the video. So that's quite a ways away still as you know, another 90 seconds or so. And, you know, honestly, I don't know, maybe I just am not that good at boss battles. Maybe that's what it comes down to. I just feel like these bosses, uh, you know, each one of them pretty much has the rule of three, where you have to, like, you know, do something, take some health off, do something, take some health off, do something. To, and, you know, and then when there's three or more bosses, it starts to get a little lengthy. But uh, other than that, you know, there's not a whole lot of complaints that I have for this level. Uh, the story is great. Uh, the, the mini kits are fairly easily found. And, uh, oh, no, Captain's got a, <laughs> the goo on him again. That's no good. That's no good at all. Let's see what I did there. All right, we got to remove all these guys with mind control. And then we should have another chance at Captain. There we go. Oh, wait a minute. Now he's blocking our shots again. That's not good. Uh, I'm seeing again some of these little sequences though are a little questionable too because like why can't I hurt him now like I'm sure I'm missing something but eventually I get up close and personal and look at that the health meter is now depletable and we'll go ahead and remove him captain down again and we got to get up close and take out the presence for the final time here actually it takes forever but I promise you we're gonna skip some cutscenes and jump right into the next collectible here in well about three two one go all right underwater we are all right so uh we're gonna actually follow the yellow tube to start things off there's obviously multiple paths you can take but for us we're gonna go over to the yellow side and look for the shark there he is and basically once you get close he will take off and we don't have to worry about getting bit in the back but what we really are after is this spot that needs to be dug up and luckily for us lockjaw can go ahead and dig that box up for us. Once it's dug up, go ahead and give it the old smackaroo and check it out. We got a mini kit, not just for me, but for you too. You like my Dr. Seuss rhymes? Haha. <laughs> All right, next up, we got to switch on over to Dr. Strange. And strangely enough, he has a rebreather on. You'd think that the doctor wouldn't need any kind of, uh, you know, a physical accessory. You'd think he'd be able to just manipulate water or time or something so that he's just breathing air. And, but nope, he's got a rebreather, which I guess is cool. I wish I had a rebreather. I'd do a lot more swimming if I did. Not a very good uh, breath holder. I, I can't swim very long or hold my breath for very long either. I can talk forever. Hold my breath was never one of my strong suits. All right, next up, we're going to make our way back over to where the three pipes or tubes meet up. And we're actually going to follow the blue tube. We're not going to hop in it. We're just going to follow the actual path of it until we get to this weird kind of intersection here in between the two bars that go up over the top. And, well, the blue tube gets separated. And for some reason, we can't get into that back room. So we're going to switch to a character like Lockjaw who has the teleporting ability and we're going to use this little spot here to go ahead and teleport ourselves inside and look at that booyaka show we'll go ahead and grab a few studs and go ahead and grab that mini kit too go ahead and teleport your way back on out so lockjaw doesn't get stuck in there as i know that tends to happen sometimes and oh we got another thumby helpful tip now as it turns out we actually have to do a little bit of the story based elements now we have to make our way back on over to i believe we go up the red tube first Yep, we've got red on us. And we'll go ahead and make our way up there. We've got a little bit of a task to complete. We've got a couple bad guys to take out. We've got to get inside this room by flipping the switch, which requires us to melt down a gold... I guess it's some sort of a... What is that? A gold blockade? I don't even know. But we'll go ahead and melt this lock down. And uh, it looks like we're going to need somebody other than M11. His juice is not powerful enough to melt it down. But we know Iron Man's got the heat ray. So we'll go ahead and melt it down. Look at that. We've got that switch. Go ahead and drop it like it's hot. And oh, no, more bad guys. No problem, though. The next collectible is actually out in that red crate over on the right-hand side out on that little balcony area. But we're going to go ahead and destroy this generator and <laughs> everything in its path, too, to go ahead and grab a few studs. We don't need them, but at the same time, we do. We got lots of characters to purchase. Now, keep in mind, your studage is important, and we highly recommend that you purchase stud multipliers before you purchase any characters, as some of those characters are pretty expensive, like a million or a million and a half, I've heard. 
And uh, so, anyways, so save your studage by the pink brick stud multipliers, and then stack up as many chips as possible. And I, of course, highly recommend waiting till you actually need a character. Now, we're not going to need any characters until we get to the Gwenpool missions. I don't think we need any other characters for the free play. I'm pretty sure we've got everybody we need. However, that could change as time goes on. I know that a couple of you have suggested we needed some characters, but I think we have some other characters already that have those abilities. But again, I'm not 100% sure i'm not i won't know until i get there but all right hey as mentioned earlier there is a collectible it happens to be mini kit number six out here in this red crate we'll go ahead and switch to a character that has the grapple ability look at that m11 happens to have that capability could have used like you know ms marvel or some of the other characters too uh, but look at that inside there's a mini kit we grab that and now it's on oh, i guess we're over to uh i think we go to the yellow pipe next and yeah, we'll make our way back down to that intersection regardless. I'm trying to get to Star-Lord. Uh, that was a little bit of a musical characters there. I could not get the right person I was after. And all right, we got to follow this blue guy all the way back around to the intersection where they all are. And, oh, no, there's some bad guys waiting for us. You can choose to s skip them or, uh, as you just found out, or I found out the hard way. Oh, look at that. There's a purple in there, too. You can actually get shot down by those bad guys if you don't take them out might waste a little bit of time for you all right next up we're gonna go ahead and hop in the yellow tube ride that bad boy all the way up and once we get up here we've got the same task a couple of bad guys to take down and then we've probably got a switch to flip which may or may not yep requires a little bit of gold to be melted so we'll uh, switch on over to oh look at that we got captain marvel out. that'll do the trick yeah all right melt it down and flip the switch as well Inside, this one's a little bit more tricky. We actually have to get all the way up top. And uh, there should be some grapples up there, if I remember correctly. And we got to use Iron Man or Rocket, somebody that can destroy some silver bricks. And uh, you can see right there, we've got that little, uh, it's like a hatch cover. We'll go ahead and blast that open and make our way up top. And hey, speaking of up top, uh, head on over to Instagram where you can find our top photos and posts of the week. That's right. You were wondering where I was going with that up top. Where? <laughs> I was wondering where I was going with that too. It was a quick pull. Anyhow, we got upstairs after destroying that silver blockage. And once we get up here, there's a couple of bad guys waiting for us. But most importantly, what we're after is that mini game in the back, that little hack spot where we can switch on over to Ms. Marvel and wait for it. I, this, I love this too. I love the fact that we can actually uh, just actually pull up the character select. And it's got the character we need if you're close enough to the item that you're after. So if it's a digging character you need and you're next to, like, the digging spot, it'll pull up a digging character. Like, I think that's awesome. Like, the good job, TT and Warner Bros., for making that happen. As Sometimes it's kind of confusing on who you need and where they are, for that matter. Sometimes you know who you need, but you're like, where is that character? And with, you know, 200 characters or so, it kind of takes a little bit of time to find them. So, all right, mini kit number seven, officially ours. And, uh, hey, guess what? There is another quick tip coming up from Thumby. Turns out there's roughly five minutes between now and the next collectible. I can't imagine you want to listen to my nasally drone for the next five minutes knowing there's nothing in regards to collectibles coming up. But if you do, hey, let's hang out. Meanwhile, if you're in a hurry, go ahead and quickly click the quick link for mini kit number eight. That was kind of a tongue twister. Ty saying that five times fast. I'm not going to. I'll make a fool of myself. All right, we have officially taken out the generator up top so we can drop on down. And oh, no, it's not a Tuma. Oh, wait, it is a Tuma. Ah, and it looks like his meter is in need of some depleter. So go ahead and knock him down a little bit, and he'll take off yet again. And speaking of yet again, we need to make our way down back to the tube intersection where we can go ahead and hop in the blue tube and go all the way up. Now, there isn't any collectibles. However, there are quite a few studs during this little pathway here. We ride the blue tube up, and once we get there, it's the same process. We have a couple of bad guys to eradicate, and then we've got a switch. We need to go ahead and flip. But this one is a little different. This one does not have gold around it needing meltage. We actually have to go up top and fix this I guess it's a power source of some sort. So it's actually a water wheel, I think. I don't know what it really does, but we go ahead and fix it with Iron Man, and then we spin it around and turn it on down. And then we actually can jump down this little uh, shaft to our right that uh, actually has a whole bunch of missable studs. That's right. This is what I was talking about earlier when I was saying there was lots of studage 
And uh, watch me. I actually jumped down this, this little shaft, and I missed the studs. I was too far to the left. So I jump back up and fly up and make sure I collect all them bluesies. Look at that. There's probably like five or six blues and a handful of golds, too. So we'll take them, especially since we got a times eight multiplier on. Look at that. We've got almost a million studs just from completing this level, and we're not even done yet. All right, so we went up top. We got that generator flipped on, or the tube turned on. And look at that. We've got a bunch of bricks that came down that tube. We built them up into the switch. We'll flip that bad boy. Look, get out of the way, Lockjaw. <laughs> Uh-oh, what is going on there? Hopefully that didn't come out his back end. It <laughs> totally, that looked a little suspect there, Lockjaw. Looked like he had a little bit too much, uh, too many Scooby Snacks there. Anyhow, uh, I was a little concerned about this laser grid here. I, I was hesitant to walk inside thinking I was going to get melted into minifig scrap. But it turns out I walked right on through it. So get inside, go ahead and drop the bomb on the generator. That's right. Bomb, 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 bomb. Watch it spin around and go kaplooey. And then I believe it's the next area for me and Yui. Oh, look at that it is. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, checkpoint it is. We go ahead and smash a couple of things right off the bat. And then we actually have to use Spider-Man to connect us from one side to the other. Now, you could probably just jetpack or fly across using a different character. But to complete the story-based stuff here, I went ahead and used the grapple plug to rip this truck from its... Look at that. It was plummeting to... Oh, no, it did plummet to its... Oh, my, my bad. Hopefully, there was nobody in the front seat of that guy. And we'll go ahead and use the bricks we ripped off the backside to go ahead and give ourselves this awesome... No. Oh, Ms. Marvel, we don't need you. We need Spider-Man to go ahead and create a tight pants tightrope. That's right. We'll go ahead and do a little tight pants tight walking. I, I, this is I find super funny, though. All other characters that use this tightrope walk normally. But watch how Spidey crawls across it. It is quite comical. And there's Dane Cook. I mean, the shocker. We'll go ahead and uh, we'll make our way across and take him out. I, I still think it would have been pretty sweet if they would have had Dane Cook voice the shocker. Now, if you're young and you don't know who Dane Cook is, that's all good. Don't go Googling it. You'll get me in trouble. But as it turns out, um, he's quite funny, and it would have been just kind of a nice little Easter egg to have old Dane. You know, Dane's kind of been out of the uh, mains, uh, mainstream for quite a while. I, I don't know why he has not had... Any, at least I haven't seen anything. Maybe I'm, I'm not a huge Cook follower, so maybe I'm wrong on that. But anyways, enough about Dane Cook. I, I got caught up in a little tangent there. But all right, Spidey's doing some quick dance moves using the webs. I love how he avoids being shot at. But again, some of these characters look cool, but they are not very effective when it comes to fighting. And oh no, there's Mysterio! Now here in a second, Mysterio's gonna pick up this truck and, and weasel it around, and we're gonna have two grapple plugs to rip on down. And as it turns out, we're going to want to skip those for a minute. We are actually going to want to pay attention. Help! Oh, here it comes. We're going to want to pay attention to some bricks on the front right side. So it's over there on the front right. You might have noticed there's a mini kit kind of under that debris there. Now watch me. I'm going to come over here and smash all this stuff on the far right side. And it's actually going to give me some buildable bricks. There they are, bouncing around already, kind of close to the mini kit. And we'll go ahead and build those up. And it turns out it's a gravity booster. Nope, psych, it's a grapple plug. We'll go ahead and use that. And look at all these Mysterios. He's so mysterious. Look at that. There we go. Go ahead and spam, 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 spam. And rip that bad boy open. And guess what? We've got mini kit number eight. It's officially ours. Now, I'd love to tell you that this is the end of the level and that you've got all the collectibles, but that would be incorrect. We actually have two more areas we have to take on with more bosses in each of them. See what I'm saying about this level just being a little too long? Maybe could have broken it down into some other levels. But at the same time, I get it. They had 20 levels figured out. Anyhow, go ahead and grapple that truck. Build up the Captain America shield switch here. We'll go ahead and actually, it's not a shield switch. It's uh, Ms. Marvel. My bad. And uh, we'll shake up that rock platform that the Shocker was hanging out on. He'll come back down. We'll give him a pow right in the kissa. A couple of butt slams too. And his health meter will get depleted. And we'll get to move on to the next area. I do believe Vulture comes and grabs us. Isn't that his name, Vulture? And look at this. Here it comes. Oh, we got to walk over to that question mark. What's going on? What's what's over here? Well, what's, uh... well that's right. We got to switch to somebody with some Spidey sense. So switch on over to Spidey, and oh, look at that! There it is, and oh, it is Vulture. We'll go ahead and hit that button. I, I look at that. I got the button in time, and you know he still takes me away. So he swoops us up and takes us up to this weird makeshift. It's like a pop-up jungle. There's a lot of things popping up, restaurants and stores. It's like a pop-up jungle at the top of the bridge right here. We got Craven the Hunter, but we're not gonna pay attention to him right. 
away. We're actually going to make our way to the front left side of this uh, sky rise situation here. And we're going to actually switch on over to another character. No, Peter is not going to do it for us. We're going to need Iron Man. So somebody with silver brick breaking abilities, go ahead and destroy that silver brick and build up the pieces into mini kit number nine. Now, hey, another helpful tip from Thumby. If you're in a hurry for those collectibles, we've got a quick link for mini kit number 10 because it is, well, it's about another minute and a half or so away. But uh, we're going to go ahead and switch to a character who can remove the green vines. First one that came to my mind was Black Panther. So we'll go ahead and use the icon indicator to go ahead and remove those and reveal a grapple point. M11 happened to be on point, so we used his go-go gadget arm to rip that off. And look at this. We've had some stuff fall out of somewhere and break onto that box. I don't know why we couldn't have just did a butt slam and broke the box open. But regardless, we've got some buildable bricks, and we build it up into a barbecue. Makes taste so good. Make you want to slap your old mama. <laughs> Kind of what I, kind of what it feels like right here. And look at this. You know, I the, I made mention in, in the story element or the story video that you know this kind of reminded me of Shiva from The Walking Dead, and it kind of does. But at the same time, kind of has like a Looney Tunes or Disney's feel to it, doesn't it? Like the the old doom 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 doom. How he's tiptoeing around that tree once we had the barbecue up. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but anyways, uh, focus on that health meter. As you know, it needs to be depleted. And this, I don't know what, I have a heck of a time with this guy. Look, I'm punching him, I'm kicking him, I'm banging him, I'm booming him. His health meter is not really going anywhere. Now, I see he's got that spin stick. He's spinning it around, he's blocking me, but, I mean, how, how can you block these giant fists coming from the sky? I mean, look at that, raining down fists. Look, I, I have a hard time. What? Once I get going on some button pressings, sometimes uh, I get really going. Uh, my thumbs were not happy after this level, I promise you that. A lot of extra spamming the button, trying to fight, which is fine, but uh, like this boss battle, like really, this guy is a mini boss, not a mega boss. He should have been done by now, but all right, get ready for Vulture to come in and do the old Ca -ca -on, take us away again. But uh, we actually have to switch over to somebody with some Spidey sense or some sort of a, uh, I don't know what we call that, just, uh, I guess, premonition. And we'll make our way over there to the question marks and get ready. Ca -ca! Here comes Vulture. And I hit it in time again, but I dodged it this time. But still not good enough. He grabs me and takes me away. Drops me down to the lower level for the final battle. That's right. We got to fight Doc Ock. And first off, though, we're going to pay attention to these green strong handles on the left-hand side. We're going to go ahead and rip those bad boys off. That's right. M11, you're not strong enough. We need somebody like Ms. Marvel, which the character select wheel happened to be ready to select her. Thank you very much. We'll rip that off and grab mini kit number 10. Well, try to before Ock kicks us around a few times. We ain't a soccer ball, Ock. Anyways, all right, grab it. We'll hey, 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 we've got all 10. And uh, pat yourself on the back and feel free to save and quit right now as you should have no problem. Now, I know there's been a game in the past where I think one game you had to actually complete the level. I believe it was uh, The Force Awakens. But anyhow, uh, you should be able to. I have not had any reports of saving and quitting and not getting to keep your collectibles. So uh, in theory, you should be able to. Any confirmation on that down below in the comments would be great. And speaking of down below, hey, if you have not already, click that subscribe button. We would love it if you subscribe to our content. And, of course, if you want to see our videos, make sure you click that bell notification as well. And, all right, so another one of these boss battles. I tried to pin him up on the wall and do as much damage as possible, and it worked for a minute, but then he gets away. And, again, this boss battle just seemed like it took too long, considering we've already had, like, what, four or five boss battles thus far in just this free play video. I mean, come on. But anyhow, we almost got that meter all the way down. Once we do, it's actually going to take us to a cutscene that we removed. And then we're going to go ahead and jump right into the final totals and see what we got. We already know, but we're going to go ahead and go over it and talk about it because that's fun. It's what we do. You know, if you guys are done seeing, like like in this level, we had a lot of a, a boss battle here. We, we could have removed a couple of minutes worth of footage. Uh, if you guys don't want to see us complete the level, if you want to see us just save and quit and be done once we got all the collectibles, let us know. We, we might change that. We're, we're thinking about even changing the way we do the story mode, but we'll talk about that later in our next LEGO. All right, uh, hey, check it out. We've got all of this studage. We got a gold brick for getting that requirement. In fact, look at all them studs. We had virtually none after buying the uh, the 2x pink brick at the beginning of this video. And now we got 1.2 million. We got all 10 mini kits, which guess what? Is going to give us a few more studs and another gold brick. 
So we'll take that bad boy, and we did, of course, hey, freely, no. freely, freely, which will add up another gold brick, totaling four. And last but not least, we're going to go ahead and collect our character token, Black Cat. But keep in mind, if you notice, she's still dark. Like, we need to purchase her to bring her to the light side. That's right. So I kind of freaked out. I think I mentioned this already in a previous video. I freaked out. I was like, oh, my gosh, I got a character unlocked, and it didn't add a character. But then Tyler P. reminded me, you have to purchase it, silly. But anyways, uh, O to the yeah. Thanks for watching. That's going to do it for LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 Level 2 Adventures World Tour Free Play. Shout out to Tyler P. for hooking up the guide. And, of course, WB for making this game possible and hooking us up with a copy of it. As for me, that's going to do it. As always, till next time.